what up dapper squad it's your boy darius back at it again with some more bleach uh super excited to continue the story we're doing episodes 9 through 12 today we left off on a very sad but exciting moment at the same time it's crazy to say i'm loving the osts loving the characters loving almost all as aspects of bleach right now if you guys want early access up to 12 episodes as well as the full uncut versions of these reactions check out the patreon links are down below like always we are live on twitch reacting to all reactions now if that makes sense so come on over twitch.tv slash darius it is a vibe chat's always in here it's always such a cool experience being in here with you guys watching this live check out the other social medias if you don't mind instagram twitter tiktok all at dapper darius i'm not gonna waste any more time bleach episode nine let's do it all right this is episode nine my boy who's being all weird with Ichigo's sister, trying to bait out Ichigo. Ooh. That is a very interesting title card this time. That's not the little girl who I don't want to say baited Ichigo, but Ichigo tried to save, right? Was Rukia right? Was a hollow somewhat involved in... Ichigo's mother's death? I don't remember things from so long ago. What in the hell? Oh. I don't want to pause it, but a lot of people when that JJK episode came out, spoilers for season two real quick, when um, Gota from Utah popped up, a lot of people said the baiting fish that baited that girl out to try to kill her was like the Grand Fisher. And I didn't know obviously what that meant, but I didn't even know that was related to Bleach. But that makes that makes a lot of sense how he had a human appearance to bait people out. That is crazy. So it's literally like an angler fish from the wall. From, the deep ocean 50 years and his favorite is women yeah that is sick and demented that he specifically targets women and that he baits people out and he... the human appearance all right my man ichigo's going in oh you can use it what seems like body hair at will you're one bastard I'll never forgive. Disintegrate. Ron Danini's black dog. Akudo number nine, Geki. See, I need to learn so much more about the spells and incantations she can use. She's still not full strength, especially in her Giga. Yo, if you touch our sister, like, hello. The double mouth. Shout out this guy. He is a soul reaper at the end of the day. So, I... you just tank all that? Oh my god! Yeah. At the end of the day, he is a soul reaper. Their job is protecting human human lives. Defeating hollows. Spiky. Did my man just die? Okay. He's just sleeping. What the? F How do you sleep after? <laughs> okay. We still got Khan here. And Ichigo's body. Yes. That'd be great assistance. Very thematically filling with the rain. This is a personal vendetta for Ichigo. Yeah. He needs to get this off his chest. This is something he has to do himself. As a man, you know? This is my fight. He is a strong hollow, though, being able to manipulate that, like, hair at will. Also, baiting out humans. I wonder how Ichigo is going to beat him. 
And if a main character says it with that much confidence and resolve, you know it's going to happen. Ooh, decent block. Oh, that's again. So his whole body is just freely manipulatable. That's kind of broken. Strategically, he should have had Rukia help him. But I, this is a personal battle for him, so I get it completely. Sometimes you got to do stuff yourself. See? He's still saying that. Even if my arms are ripped off, even if my legs fly off, he'll get this done. The passion can also be... Oh, hell no. There's no way you just turn that into my mom's face. Oh, hell no. Oh, uh, and it can mimic voices and stuff like that. I can't believe six years ago when he... I don't know who this is, but I like his words so far. Very relatable. He might save his life, but man without his honor. He must always distinguish between the two. There are two types of fights. Both are very important. People will die for their honor. And I love that transition back to present time. I really enjoy Rukia so far because she's willing to accept that. Like most side characters, first off, wouldn't. And when she was intruding a little too much on his personal life, she fell back, you know? I, I, I really enjoy Rukia a lot so far. That's going to be the real question. Can you draw your sword against your own mother, you know? Like, that would be so hard. Oh. I get it. He's just tanking, tanking hits after hits. This is the realest thing we'll get to his mom right now. Aww. Aww. Especially how much grief and guilt he felt after everything, you know? Aww. R.I.P. Ichigo's mom, man. Live. I mean, he legit felt like he murdered his own mother, you know, so. That's got to be big. Fuck your shit, Ichigo. If I were the rain, would I be able to connect people? Like this. Like the clouds in this earth. What does she say? A never intersecting sky and earth. Loki or he may spit in bars. I won't lie. Did he leave? Oh. I wanted to beat him, man. This is something we can aspire to beat now. Get some closure in our life. The song is hitting like crazy right now. I don't like comparing the big three, but this is like the sadness and sorrow of uh, of Bleach to me. So I, I really enjoy it. I respect that. Bye bye. As the rain stops, very thematic, you know. This OST is hidden too. Whoever be playing the guitar and these bleach songs be killing it. Mm. 
箱を吸ってる手がかっこいい。<笑>にして思えば、あとにも先にもそれだけだったな。わお。さんに褒められたのは。だから毎年。That's why I smoke just once on this day every year in front of her. Oh.、Uh -huh. Shout out, Ishin, man. He's got to stay positive, you know. That's just the sad reality, you know. We just heard herself, you know. She was a great mom, you know. That's a great way to put it. Shout out to Ishin. <laughs> Live well, grow old, go bald, and die after me. That's right. I enjoy the whole Kurosaki family. I wonder how long we're gonna need to be a soul reaper and take Rukia's power. Like, can we have our own soul reaper power and her as well? I respect that. We have a long term villain to beat right now. We gotta beat the Grand Fisher. That was a fire episode. Fire episode. All right, this is episode 10. This is the next episode. Ghostly screams? What is this, some live ghost hunter show? I see Chad, Tatsuki, Orihime, Kurosaki family, Mr. Don Kanoji. Kanonji. Guy's got a very interesting design. Live broadcast, checking out spiritual hotspots. Ghostly screams! So that is a little flashback as to why we're here at the live event tonight. Bo ha 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 ha. I see. I see. This guy's gotta be a fraud. This guy's like the Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball. Every great entertainer needs a tagline, though. I like the boha ha ha. Cut to commercial. Having that live is so anticlimactic. He does. He's like 15 with a with a job technically as a soul reaper and school work. And he helps the family out, you know? He really doesn't even know. If anyone would be able to see spirits, you and Rukia would, so. Good point. Oh, that's a real thing. Oh. Such as that. You know, if we see Chad's eyes, shit's about to go down. Which makes me interested in Chad because he was able to hear the leech hollow, right? That was attacking the little boy in the parakeet. He was swinging for the sounds. Like, can Chad not see spirits, but he can hear them? I'm curious. There is a, a fixed spirit. It does sound like a hollow's cry. A demi hollow. So he's close to becoming a hollow. Looks like he's got the Uchiha symbol on his shirt. Isn't fully open. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Damn. I love her drawings. Legit. Anytime she explains something, I love her drawings. Why do you want... A hospital. Oh, ah, 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 
He doesn't look to be suffering. He looks to be heated. He's pissed. Yep, as that happens. Of course, production's gonna be pissed. Oh, hell, they're on him like white on rice. His bounds binding him to his object. Is that Kisuke? He's the only one I've seen with the cane with the... So it is! And Tessai, right? Shout out. Wait, can he... Can Kanonji see him? So he does have some spiritual presence? What is going on? And now he's turning into a hollow. It's my first time actually seeing one form and the mask come on it. The mask form. I love the I like the double mouth kind of look of the I like the designs of the hollows. Alright, Kanonji. Oh ha 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 ha. If he's not in it for money and he's in it for like that reason, it's not a bad reason to inspire the children to be courageous in front of anything that, you know, whether it's the paranormal, whether it's life. Good point. I mean, his number one priority is saving people, so I get it. I get it. His sword got stuck because we're fighting in such a close quarters area. Sanpakto. Isolating Ichigo on the roof now. Oh god. At least that gives us more room to fight. Can Kanonji do something? Oh, now he's glued. That little sticky spit is kind of interesting. Great stop. His staff of channeling. That shit is breaking. But you've impressed me. You are my comrade. Hey, I like that. Gotta be the center of attraction. Even if my body's blown apart, <laughs> I can die as a shield for the kids of the future. Hey, Kanonji's growing on me. Hey, he technically freed us from our bindings. Come on. Beautiful slash. And that's it. The abandoned hospital hollow is defeated. Yup. So you technically caused this incident, you know? I feel like he's genuine and sincere about a lot of the things he's saying, so I, I thoroughly enjoy him so far. He genuinely wants to protect and be an inspiration to the future generation. And now he feels bad because he's been causing a lot of chaos and potential danger. Be the hero, though. Come on. Answer their cheers. No matter the despair you feel, 
you must keep on that face for the people, you know. Mission complete. Bohahaha. <laughs> My number one pupil. <laughs> that, that is a demotion, but shout out Kanonji. Shout out this episode. Shout out uh, a future generation, we'll say. That episode went by quick, too, I swear. All right, this is uh, episode 11, the next episode. Okay. Why did you bring us in? Good point. It brought dishonor to the school. I mean, they had nothing to do with you trying to save the day, so. They're even playing the song. Ruki is a good actress. If Soul Reaping ever stops being her job, she needs to be an actress for sure. I don't care what you do to Ichigo, but please spare me as they're dipping. The title screens for these episodes are so unique. I love it. But that was such a funny intro. All is well that ends well. It was just an ACT and act. I would never sell you out, Ichigo. You know if that rings, we got a hollow. If I was your average school goer, I would think they're dating. I would be thinking exactly what Orihime is thinking. Are they going to make out or something? Why is it Chad that's always noticing the weird stuff going on? <laughs> to be honest, if I was a... This might be the other Soul Reaper. This is the guy Chad was just looking at? If I was a, uh, I love the butterfly aspect. If I was a spirit who was scared and I saw Ichigo whip out his big ass Zon popped up, like, don't kill me. No one betrayed us by getting in the top 50. Ichigo 23. Man's on his studies. I'm not going to lie. I know it's a very Japanese thing, especially compared to Western culture. But I wish American schools posted your grades like that or your your, your test exam or your results, you know. I don't know. I kind of like that concept. <laughs> you pervert, you nerd. <laughs> they take pride in their non-nerdiness. Dad also? Is that 11? Shout out my smart guys. That is so funny. Ishida. Ishida. Who are you? Who are you, Ishida? This is the... That's the same guy. I wonder if that's Uryu. Because Ichigo, Ichigo is not recognizing his face. He's insanely smart, and he's potentially a Soul Reaper or a rogue Soul Reaper? I don't know. So I'd have to assume that's Ishida or Uryu. I wonder what his people call him or what he goes by. Yep, here we go. Here's the confrontation. Mostly Ishida. 
How does he know without even having a cell phone? Or a soul phone? Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Oh. Him holding like the the cross emblem to create his bow and arrow. It's like an energy bow and arrow. Oh my god, he's kind of clean with it. He's the one who's been yeah, taking out all the hollows. I have to assume Miss Ishida. What is a Quincy? I hate soul reapers. I got a friend named Quincy. Now I need to know more. What the hell is a Quincy? And I love the concept of that filling up with energy and turning into his bow and arrow. He is bad with names. Or Willie? Those are very different names. That's a celebrity no one likes. So I wonder, does he go to this school naturally? Or is he like Rukia where he's undercover? Andy Crafts Club. This man is an expert. Okay. Making that okay. Man is very man should be the president of this club. That's the fastest I've ever seen someone sew up a stitch like that. Or stitch up a whatever you want to call it. Give me more info about yourself, please. What is a Quincy? Why do you have such a cool bracelet, such a cool power, such a cool outfit? This man's on top of everything. He was able to detect that hollow before the, even the soul phone got the notification, so. I did not expect humans to have this ability. I thought it was mainly going to be hollows. Oh, this should be interesting. So he can detect high spiritual energy. That's obviously why he can detect these hollows instantaneously. Those are the same... Yeah, spirit ribbons that Ichigo used that one time to detect and find a hollow, right? Or the spirit of the parakeet was one of those. Is that his spirit ribbon? Oh, I did not know that. This is some good world building. I like that concept of spirit ribbons. Ah, uh, I would assume you, just based off your experience and knowledge right now. Back at Kisuke's store. Anyone who loses the first rock, paper, scissors always says it's two out of three. Jesus. Get his ass, Tessai. That hurt her foot. This guy's brolic. Is she gonna ask him about the Quincy's and Ishida? That's a good point. He's a temporary, he's a surrogate soul reaper. He knows in depth. You're a substitute. He's saying you're not even worth my time. Oh. Uh-oh. Give me some info. 200 years? Tribe that specialized in destroying hollows. 
Apparently not. Like their religious like outfits. Which is what? Uh-huh. To not let their spirits pass on at all. That's very interesting. So I do I do understand that perspective. Especially if you're a hollow that killed one of my buddies. Hmm. And that's like their signature power is that energy bow and arrow. So Ishii does like the last remaining survivor of the Quincy tribe. Such an interesting world building decision for that. Like it's so intriguing. Again, whoever's on these guitars on these songs be killing it. Ah, that's a great way to end the episode. These episodes are flying by, I won't lie. All right, this is the final episode of the session. This is episode 12. Almost forgot. Yeah, do you guys think you can't, you don't need to kill each other or anything like that. Like, how does the winner of this duel decide? All obey. So, first one to kill the hollow. The most hollows that gather in 24 hours. I didn't even know there was something like a hollow bait. He's that confident in his abilities, you know. So far, and we've from what I've seen, he's on top of it, you know. And he's doing it. We got 24 hours to kill as many hollows as we can. I wonder if that's like a tablet of pure spirit and energy concentrated. So like, what else? physically would make the hollows want to come here you know and attract them first one here we go all first one down that bow and arrow is slick he's the legolas of bleach i love the title cards you should be getting ready to go slay some hollows He doesn't have the energy detectors as well as you do, Ishida. I like his confidence. Is that his grandfather, his father, someone he knew? The last elder of the Quincy village? There's definitely a backstory there, and I'm curious as to what it is, for sure. Are we saying Tatsuki can see ghosts? Has that always been a thing? I don't think so. Oh, they really are making out in public. Get a room, ghosts. I was very unaware that Tatsuki could see ghosts. So is she one of the people who have high spiritual energy that Ichigo hasn't noticed? Ever since that day, I see. Interesting. <laughs> Imagine being a ghost and doing that, not thinking they can see. That's hilarious. That is <laughs> that would be me. The windows in the first floor are shattered. Bro, if a hollow attacks the school. This would not be good at all. This is probably a gang of hollows coming to town now. Like, Ishida Loki is kind of wild for that duel, you know? Kisuke is like, what the f is going on? 
I want to see him fight. I've never seen him take anything really serious yet. Good cut. First kill on us. Yeah, Ishii does... Oh, that's three. Good shit, Ichigo. Ishii does wildin' for this, won't lie. Seven. Eight. I wonder, is his amount of energy he's shooting in these arrows unlimited? Can he do this literally forever? He's just getting unlimited notifications about hollows. I think Kisuke knows Ishida did some bullshit like this, you know? I didn't even know this is what the meter looked like. This feels like I'm looking for, like, Dragon Balls. Like, normally Kisuke is super jokey looking and making a pun, but he actually looks dead serious right here. A little 3v1 action. Good block. Okay. Good kill. Hell yeah. I wonder what there's I know we saw Ishida like 11 12 right there I wonder what we're at right now see and Chad is always on top of it when it comes to noticing spiritual and hollow activity like I'm super curious if Chad has also some sort of innate power you know especially after his ordeal with the parakeet and the leech the leech hollow you know Maybe because Ishida said that obviously the hollows are going after people with high spiritual energy. Ichigo thought of his family, but there's people outside of his family who have. I wonder if Chad's another one. He knows the immediate danger, pushes his homeboys out the way. Can he see him now? Maybe not fully because we're only seeing like the silhouettedness of it. Maybe he's just going on pure feeling. This is smart. Instead of his homeboys running, he's running to bait the hollow away from these civilians. Oh, and this is great, but not great timing. Chad is now here. The one with the parakeet. Yup. Good reaction time, my man. We need someone here to kill this one. Ishii does wildin' for just sending hollows everywhere like that. If there's anybody that gets injured or any blood spilled, it's on his hands, you know, technically. But Karin, we know she's a full-blown ghost seer. Yeah. Good job. Maybe Karin will be able to call him out and Chad will be able to punch him. Okay. Good teamwork. This is a team I was not expecting to happen. Karin and Chad. Okay. I love when animes use really dark, heavy lines during action shots like that. I always think it looks so good. Young Chad. Is this why he's such a pacifist? Or not a pacifist, but was willing to take being hit without hitting anyone back? What's the point of hitting someone? Is this Pops? Not for vengeance, not for anger, but for kindness. You must find out why. Abuelo. Is that his grandpa? Aren't for hurting people? See, I fuck with Chad heavy. Uh, 
Okay, with the arm ripper punch? Who is Chad feeling like? Okay, Chad. I don't know what the hell's going on. Because he's not even like a soul reaver. He's inside of his main body right now. The mean uppercut. The music is going crazy. In legendary goat status right here. Now, real talk though, what is that horn? That shit looks crazy. <laughs> no, you gotta give the thumbs up, man. That's the coolest thing. Shout out Abuelo. I don't understand. I'm right there with you, bud. Bro, the music just be hitting in this show. <laughs> He's not lying. Just like Ichigo. See, now I need a Chad Ichigo team up with some of these hollows. Shout out Ishin. Go get that man. Take care of this boy. Uh, this is also who I was worried about dealing with a hollow. Totsuki. Are we going to get a Totsuki? Is she going to grow some fucking powers too? Like, what the hell's going on? Oh, is it going to end the episode there? Nobody knows. These episodes are really good. I won't lie. All right. Uh, we just got gifted a ton amount of subs. So that's why we're going to see this notification going on for a while. Huge support from the community. Like I said, come on over to the Twitch. It's always a vibe. But these Bleach episodes were fantastic from the world building on the Quincy's Ishida to Abuelo giving Chad the energy he needs. The one thing, and I know you guys, and I'm sorry, I'm going to be saying this for all of eternity, and I know you guys already know this, but the music in Bleach hits differently. Whether it's the sad piano songs, whether it's the guitar, whether it's the rock with the electric guitar, like it hits so crazy. We got a duel going on right now between Ishida and Ichigo. The everything with the Grand Fisher and Ichigo determining he wants determining being determined that he wants to get stronger and be a soul reaper for at least a little bit longer. Like I'm loving it. We have some end game goals. We have to beat it. Chad with thinking of his abuelo and everything like like there's so many aspects. I'm worried about Tatsuki and Orihime. I'm hoping eventually at the end of this Ishida can be our friend and not hate us for what we are we're just trying to help people man these episodes are like i said are fantastic every aspect the opening is great the ending's great the music's great animation like people especially newer gen anime watchers hate on old school animation i i thoroughly enjoy it especially when they use those dark heavy lines for certain aspects uh kanonji i really enjoyed that episode and he grew on me insanely my boy boy <laughs> So all in all, I'm not even at what people call the goodness of Bleach yet. People say it doesn't really kick in until a little bit, but like I am thoroughly enjoying this so far. I, like I was saying during the reaction between Bleach, I have One Piece, I have Free Rim, solo leveling, like my anime schedule, I genuinely feel blessed. And then I got supportive mother, mother truckers like you guys in chat. It always is a vibe. Um, I'm loving this so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these reactions. If you did, check out the Patreon early access, full length, all that jazz. Come on over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius. Check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I appreciate you. Drink some water. Tell someone you love them because you never know when they might turn into a hollow. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.